Hello. What I want to show you in this video is how to solve a word problem using a quadratic equation with irrational roots. A ball is, uh, a ball is thrown from an initial height of 4 feet with an initial upward velocity of 27 feet per second. The ball's height h in feet after t seconds is given by the following. h equals 4 plus 27t minus 16t squared. Find all values of the of t for which the ball's height is 14. So let's go ahead and underline the 14 because this is going to be very useful for us later in the equation. Round your answer to the nearest hundreds. So let's go ahead and begin. As it was mentioned, h is equal to, the height is equal to 14 feet. We're going to find the t which is the number of seconds when the height is 14 feet so we're going to substitute 14 for h in the equation right here and say 14 is equal to 4, 4 plus 27 t minus 16 t squared if i multiply the both sides on this equation with negative then i can get this as negative 14 is equal to negative 4 minus 27 t plus 16 t squared if i write 16 t squared and i want to write it in this standard form if i add 14 on both sides this equation turns to be zero equals that's going to be plus 10 because negative 4 plus 14 is positive 10 minus 27t plus 16t squared. Let's go ahead and write it in the standard form. So the equation turns to be 16t squared minus 27t plus 10 is equal to 0. So in order to solve uh, for t, now let's go ahead and say solve for t. We first rewrite the equation in the form of a t squared plus b t plus c, which we have already uh, performed it here. Next, we use the quadratic formula to solve for t. Now, let's go ahead and remember what the quadratic formula was. I'm going to change the color for that. And let's write that here. x1 comma y, x1 comma 2 is equal to b squared minus or plus square root of excuse me let's rewrite the formula back again let me rewrite this so the formula is x1 comma 2 is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a i'll be using this formula but in my equation i need to identify my a b c values so if i identify them a value is equal to 16 this is my a and b equals negative 27 and c is equal to 10. i'm going to write down here say these are equal to 16 negative 27 and c equals 10. let's separate them with commas so next step would be applying the quadratic formula our equation has those values of a equals 16 b equals negative 27 and c equals 10 once we apply that right here since we have the variable of t t1 comma 2 like first value and second value of t is going to be minus negative 27 and then plus or minus square root of negative 27 to the second power. I'm basically applying the quadratic formula, which I have right down here, right up here. And then minus 4 times 6 times 10. This is all under the square root sign. Divided by 2 times 60. 2 times 60. So once I simplify this expression, I will be writing it down quickly 
and say 27 plus or minus square root of the expression right here ends up with 89 divided by 32. So these are the two values of t. t equal, t1 would be equal to 27 plus square root of 89 divided by 32. If you use your calculator, you will be able to see that this is going to be equal to 0 0.5489. I already did that before. Uh, or there's other value of t. t2 is equal to 27 minus this time square root of 89 divided by divided by 32 again. And this value is equal to 1.3 1.1385 so t would be equal to either 0.55 if you round it if you round this answer that's going to be 0.55 seconds or you can say it is equal to 1.14 seconds let's say seconds and seconds